In these modern times, people lie about being sexually assaulted. Luckily there's such thing called DNA analysis, which was never heard of in the Victorian era. A Gainsborough man, named Israel Barrett, owned an outfitter's business on Church Street, Israel worked hard, where he could afford servants. Ellen Taylor who was 15 years old at the time when she was employed by Israel, Ellen Taylor had many years experience as a domestic servant before working for Israel, but she really never stayed in one place for too long. In September 1890, Ellen was making the beds upstairs in the early morning, as Israel's child slept. As Ellen approached the second floor landing, she was met by Israel who asked her to bring up some meat. Ellen agreed. Before Ellen could make it to the top step, Israel grabbed and indecently assaulted her. While this was commencing, Ellen screamed out for help, but no one came to her assistance. Once the abuse was over, Ellen went to the ground floor to continue with her duties, shortly followed by Israel, who threatened her to keep quiet or the same would be repeated. Well that is what Ellen told her mother anyway, when Ellen decided to go and visit her mother with Israel's children. Her parents decided to take the matters further and contacted Mr. Barrett. From here Israel Barrett's reputation was tarnished. Israel was persistent in court, that he never paid Ellen for any sexual indulgences and he was adamant that he never raped the young girl either. Ellen was cross-examined, she did tell the same story that was said to her mother, with a change, instead of Ellen saying that she was just starting to go downstairs, it changed to Ellen being thrown down the stairs. Also an extra detail, explaining how Ellen was struggling to breathe during the assault. This caused the lawyers to look into Ellen's past by contacting her previous employers. Ellen had been working for a pawnbroker Mr. Walton, only months before she started working for Mr. Barrett. There were no complaints about Ellen when she was working for Mr. Walton, and Ellen certainly did not lie about her age. So the game the lawyers thought Ellen was playing to extort cash was totally dismissed. Israel Barrett visited the girl at her home, the night after the incident which also did not fare well on Mr. Barrett's behalf. That night Israel explained that he misunderstood and he meant no harm, Mr. Taylor, Ellen's father produced a birth certificate to prove to Israel Barrett that Ellen was indeed under 16 years of age. The defense lawyer also stated in court, that Ellen was raised as a good behaving daughter, with proper adequate. A doctor named Henry Wright, examined Ellen after the incident, stated that the girl was only badly shaken and red-eyed due to crying. No other evidence was found with Ellen's body to prove she had been physically abused, or sexually assaulted. Mr. Barrett stood strong by his words all the way to the end which left those hearing the trial believe it was all tales, Israel Barrett was not sentenced at all, his reputation for being a good outfitter was tarnished forever. Something else I found. William Thomas Steed, who was a journalist, bought a young child 15 years before the incident between Israel Barrett and Ellen Taylor. The reason William T. Steed did so, was to highlight prostitution among young children.